So teachers, well, whether you have or have not, you're going to at some point, and that's either going to be a very good day or a very cry yourself to sleep kind of day. And look, if you open that portal and you see that every student in your class has got fives, then clearly you don't need some bald guy's help. But if seeing those scores feels more like a punch in the kidneys, then I want to tell you two things. First, some encouragement, and then some resources that are absolutely going to help your students' scores increase next year, and all of that will be linked below in the description. First, some encouragement. On this day every year, we grab our students by the shoulders and we say, listen, you are not your score. And whether they believe us or not, it is true. But has anyone ever said that to you, my dear colleagues? Yeah, students are not defined by their scores, but teachers are not defined by their students' scores either. Listen to me, those scores are not an up-down vote on whether you're competent or whether you chose the right career or whatever. Don't forget, it's the students who earn their scores, not their teachers. None of us are perfect teachers. And you know, even if a perfect teacher did exist, then they probably quit teaching and go find someone to pay them a lot more for their perfection. So I'll tell you what I tell my students every year on this day. I'm proud of you. You taught a difficult course, and almost nobody besides fellow teachers knows how hard it is to put yourself in front of those teenagers day in and day out. And unlike those teenagers, you are not legally required to be there, but you showed up and you finished the race, and for that, I am proud of you. But even so, I am not limited to the empathic capabilities of a constipated toddler. I know that if those scores are lower than you hoped, you're disappointed, and you're already trying to figure out, like, how are you gonna open that portal next year and feel better? So, the second thing I wanna talk about is how do you raise those scores for next year. And here I'm going to tell you about five resources that I have for you that just might change the game for you this year. First, my YouTube channel, Just for Teachers. And make sure you're subscribed because I post new videos every week during the school year with free teaching tools and activities and techniques for engaging students creatively. And then now and then a story to help you with those teacher fields. Okay, but now if you've got some district funds burning a hole in your pocket, let me tell you about a few resources that you can get for your classroom. And everything I'm about to show you is linked in the description. By the way, I've got a pretty massive freebie for you. So make sure you watch all the way through. First, you got my Heimler review guide for all these subjects right here. Now, this used to be known as the ultimate review packet, but no longer. Now it is the Heimler review guide. It is new and oh so improved. In my opinion, this is the best and fastest way for your students to study both for their class exams and that national exam in May. It's got exclusive whole unit review videos, note guides to follow along with them, practice multiple choice questions, answer keys to everything, and full length practice exams. And every dang thing in here is perfectly aligned with the CED for your course. And if you place a bulk order for your students, you'll get a pretty hefty discount with anything above 15 licenses. But teachers, your copy is free, so follow that link in the description to find out how to have a look. Okay, second, I've got my video note guides for my YouTube video. Let me ask you a question. Do you find it very easy to get your students to read their textbook? If so, you know, skip this part. But if not, then the video note guides are probably the best way for your students to get the content of the course firmly situated into their brain folds. And every year at the reading for the national exam, it's the same story. Like, we can tell that if the students just had a better grasp on the content of the course, their scores would be so much higher. Anyway, these note guides follow along with my videos on YouTube and they have fill in the blank sections to get them engaged on the most important information and vocabulary. Then at the end of each section, they're summarizing everything in their own words, which is huge for learning and retention. And then they get some practice writing theses directly tied to the content that they just learned. And yes, there are answer keys for all the fill in the blanks. And again, you can order these in bulk, but you can absolutely check them out for yourself for free. And then third, to help you in your classroom, I've got my teacher resource packs for these courses right here. And there will be more courses to come in the future. And here you're gonna find highly creative and engaging lesson plans for every topic of every unit in the course. And these lesson plans are skills focused and again, perfectly aligned with the CED. And finally, let me introduce you to the Heimler's History Worksheets for these courses right here. These are skills-based worksheets that cover every topic in every unit of the course. They get your students interacting with documents and learning how to build arguments, understanding what in the fresh heck an SAQ or a DBQ or an LEQ is and how to answer them for maximum points. But not only that, if you use these throughout the year, you'll find that the skills are scaffolded, meaning that they begin with the easier skills and then move to more difficult skills as you progress through the curriculum. And again, and don't take my word for it. Just follow the link below and have a look for yourself. And look, because I've had plenty of help from veteran teachers creating these, I can say this without sounding like a self-aggrandizing doink. These things are pretty amazing. Okay, now real quick, let me tell you about the massive freebie that I've got for you. This year only, the 23-24 school year, if you place a bulk order of more than 15 Heimler review guides, I'm going to give you the worksheets for your course. Or if you order the worksheets, I'll throw in a license for the video note guides for every one of your students for nothing. No way. I just don't believe it's true. Yeah, it's true. Like what I want more than anything for you teachers is to know the feeling of serving your students well and then sending them off to that exam in May, putting your feet up on the desk and knowing that as far as it depended on you, they are ready to crush it. So check out all those links in the description and let me know if you have any questions. If you're wondering what kind of summer assignments that are befitting to our courses, then have a look at this video right here. Now go enjoy the rest of your summer and I'll catch you on the flip flop. I'm Lerouch.